Well, it looks like we got a little bit of an Easter egg and possible foreshadowing for things in the future of the haves and the have nots. And, you know, I get this a lot, dude. You just look into things way too much. But at the same time, when it comes to this show, you really have to pay attention to everything that's said and done just because it might be foreshadowing things to come in the next season or the next episode or even the next couple of seasons. But basically, it's the scene where, you know, uh, Catherine is about to walk away with Rocky and Broderick secret service tells them to step back because the president elect is coming through and it gets to the point where Catherine is saying I didn't even vote for that little punk bastard I think I was with her so that pretty much might actually confirm that not only did Hannah and Catherine vote for different candidates but it seems that Charles's opponent for the White House was actually a female so is this person like a pseudo Hillary Clinton-esque character? I don't know. Will this person ever show up in the show? It's a possibility because I, I think about what Hannah said, you know, um, with Charles and Candace together, you know, that'll be one turn, I'll give it four years, maybe three, two. I don't know. Or maybe Charles will get to the point where he just decides to step down and not be president. And then this opponent who has not been seen or named will be the one to take the position as president who knows i mean this show is a bit progressive in terms of doing things that are related to real life but sometimes shaking it up maybe in the way that tyler perry would like things to have been done where you know instead of another male candidate it will be a female president i don't know just speculating here not to say charles is donald trump we don't know like i don't even know what party he's for i don't think we know so yeah, but uh, we do know the current president and first lady are both white. They aren't o the Obamas or any Obama-esque characters. So that's really all we know. And I, I really want to know if this is something we're going to be told in the future. Because we don't even know um, who Charles' running mate was for that matter. Let alone, you know, the fact that he's the president-elect or was a presidential, presidential candidate up until the point where he won the election. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Did you catch this little Easter egg for hints of possible things to come? And if so, you know, give this video a thumbs up. As always, guys, you know what I say. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get these numbers up. Comment your thoughts and be on the lookout because more videos are on the way. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.